Good morning, students of class 11. Today we are starting with the first chapter in your syllabus. In this video clip, we will be covering what is history, what are two types of history, and why is history necessary. First, we will start with knowing the word history. What is history? History is actually a story of mankind or humanity, humans. It's a story of humans, but it is a story that is foretailed by a man himself. That is his story. History can be accepted as history when the events, facts are proved by investigating the facts, investigation, analyzing the facts, and the last portion is evaluation. After these three process, an event or a fact could be accepted as history. So the events or facts which are going through the process of investigation, analyzing and evaluation are accepted to be history. And those which are not going or not meeting the demands of these three bases cannot be called as history. If any events or facts are, are those which cannot be analyzed on investigation, analyzing or evaluation basis, then that particular event or fact cannot be called as history. Next, we will go to the types of history. History is of two types, that is prehistory, and the other is proto-history. What is prehistory? Prehistory are the event or the things that are not being recorded. And that is why it is not within the sphere of history. In this period, nothing was recorded. No written materials or any particular evidence are got that could be flowing into the source of history. So it is called as prehistory which is existing, the period that existed even before history has come. What is prohistory, protohistory? The position or the period between history and prehistory is called as protohistory. If this is a line and this is pre and proto-history, if this is a line, this is pre and history, prehistory and history, the intermediate gap between the prehistory and history is called proto-history. Why it is called proto-history? It is believed that in this period, people may have the knowledge of writing or the written materials are not yet been deciphered. Maybe the people were illiterate or they had no knowledge of, uh, either they were illiterate or they had no knowledge of writing or the materials have not yet been deciphered. This was what is called as proto-history. Now, we will study that Ifan Habib, an historian called, an historian called, proto-history is of two types. Two types. First, people may be illiterate. That is why no, no evidence. No evidence of writing. Or there was the scripts or written material are not deciphered. That means it is not being yet understood what the writing skill of that particular period people had. So what is proto-history? This is an intermediary period between prehistory and history. Now we will 
study that how proto history could be accepted as a period that existed in india proto history could be applied in indian subcontinent how in india people believe that proto history called period existed proto history period existed where the people were either illiterate or were ignorant of writing or the things they had written are not yet deciphered the actual historical period in india began during the indus during the indus valley civilization period and in vedic period during the later vedic period people started having the knowledge of writing but initially during the initial period of vedic age they had the knowledge of writing they did not have the knowledge of writing and their religious scriptures were orally generated from one generation to another so the proto history period existed in indian subcontinent this period was a period that existed in india between prehistory and history and the flow from prehistory to history was made by the intermediary period that is proto history in india the first scripture that was deciphered in india was brahmi script that is dating back to 4th century bc this was the first script that was deciphered in india now we will learn that why is history essential why is history essential why the written history is essential writing of history is why essential when historians start writing on an event they depend on the writing material as their source because they believe that the writing material is a base evidence which shows them that this on this basis they can reconstruct reconstruct history so they depend on the writing sources in the writing sources we get a lot of names of the state of nature how the state was administered whether it was a kingship form of rule or whether it was a feudal system of government and different types of nature of state is being evidence is got from the written material that is historical written evidence after this we will see that many names of kasi uh, many names of states or government that existed that is kasi kosambi the name of states or towns are all the evidences that are got from the material source of history and at last we also get a good knowledge of economy of that particular period from the written source of history and how agriculture at that particular point of time contributed to the contributed to the economy of that particular period so we today have learned about what is history what are two types of history that is proto history and pre history and how proto history period existed in india and why historical writing evidences are essential for writing history thank you